Evercade for beginners. Evercade in a flash. Bite-sized Evercade information. So, I thought it was cool. I think it was cool. You might not think it was cool. Anyway, I thought it'd be cool because so many new people are flocking to Evercade. I go back and take a look at all the trailers and everything about the collection and give you my thoughts on it in a quick little synopsis because I've been playing the Evercade for over two years now. And we're talking about Interplay Collection 1, the console collection, and it is collection number four. And I got to say it, I do not like Earthworm Jim. I can't stand it. I think it's a horrible game. Overrated. Stupid game. Done. So it's on this collection. <laughs> but... There are, you know, six other games. It's got a Peggy rating of 12. Why do I say Peggy? Because it's a European company. Um, and you know what? It's Peggy. Nothing wrong. Peggy? Peggy Sue got married one time. Anyway, so the two games I really recommend this collection, if you're going to buy it, I don't necessarily recommend that you buy this collection, but hey, if you're a completionist, go for it, uh, is really Boogerman and Incantation. I love Boogerman. I think Boogerman's an awesome game and almost worth 20 bucks for itself that I paid for this. Incantation is pretty cool. It feels broken in a few places, but you can get through it. Otherwise, you know, probably one of the weakest collections on the Evercade. Anyway, um, again, um, go out, try it. You probably get it cheap on the re on the uh, resale market. And at the end of the day, if you like Earthworm Jim, you've already owned this. So you probably hate me now and, and probably unsubbed. That's okay. Give me another chance. Bye, everyone.